So today we're going to take a look at TypeScript and getting autocomplete from sample JSON data. Here's an example of some JSON. I'm going to go ahead and copy that and locally make a new empty folder. And we'll launch Visual Studio Code. So we copied some JSON to our clipboard. We're working in an empty folder. Let's go ahead and add a new file called sample.json. And we'll paste in the data from the web page. All right, pretty easy. Now, you can take that same stuff and go paste it into json2ts.com, and that will generate the TypeScript uh, interfaces for us. Very cool. So if we make a new file, sample ts, we can paste in the TypeScript. I'm going to go ahead and remove the last and first lines for the module. And we'll go ahead and have all these lovely interface statements. We've got string, we've got types like gloss, def, gloss entry, uh, all of these are you know kind of nested within each other, several layers to it, but it did a really great job making all these TypeScript interfaces for us. So that now if we have our application going, what we want to do is say import from, and we'll give it the name of where that TypeScript file is locally, it's in the same folder, and then when we open up a variable we can give it a type of glossary. Pretty cool. And when doing our autocomplete, g dot, we now get some really cool stuff. It understands what type it is. It's got gloss div, it's got gloss list, gloss entry, dot gloss term as being a, a string type, all the way here, kind of, you know, nested down a few layers. Um, so definitely some really cool stuff going on with our, our autocomplete. And all we had to do was take JSON samples, which could come from any data system, and paste it into this web page to generate the interfaces, and then bring those interfaces into our project, add an import statement to our application code, and now when we're working with the object, we're getting full IntelliSense, autocomplete, you know, no more typos about uh, it was an upper, lower case, and it, all that stuff's gone. You even get to highlight and kind of arrow through them and see well, which ones are strings, which ones are other different types of data, and all that sort of good stuff. Um, so very helpful, wonderful thing to know about, and uh, yeah, check out json2ts.com. Thanks for watching.